This object right here is the biggest known planet in the known universe. Known as ROXS 42BB, the planet is a gas giant that orbits around an M-type star. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. With a radius of 43,440.7 miles, Jupiter is 11 times wider than Earth. If Earth was the size of a nickel, Jupiter would be about as big as a basketball. Sometimes people call Jupiter a brown dwarf, also known as a failed star due to its size and mass, but that's just not true. While there's no official size classification for a brown dwarf, astronomers classify any object between 15 and 75 times the mass of Jupiter to be a brown dwarf. Jupiter is nothing compared to ROXS 42BB exoplanet, which is is two and a half times bigger and nine times more massive. The exoplanet is part of a double star system, located about 420 light years from us in the direction of the Ophiuchus constellation. It orbits its binary star 30 times farther away than Jupiter orbits the Sun. What's interesting is that this planet was directly imaged in 2013 by University of Toronto astronomer Thane Curie. And this object here is either a second planet or a background star. Even though this exoplanet is apparently below the mass limit of a brown dwarf, it is still undetermined whether it's a planet or a failed star. The reason why brown dwarfs are sometimes referred to as failed stars is that they're formed like stars but don't have enough mass to ignite nuclear fusion reactions in their cores. A star is formed when the gravitational force pulls gas and dust together, which creates a dense core that eventually becomes hot enough for nuclear fusion reactions to start. This process releases a tremendous amount of energy, which causes the star to shine brightly. Brown dwarfs are objects that form in the same way as stars, but they lack the mass needed to sustain nuclear fusion reactions in their cores. Without these reactions, they're unable to shine like stars, and they eventually cool down and become dim objects in space. Astronomers agree that it's unclear whether ROXS 42BB formed like planets via core accretion, or more like a binary star. The core accretion is known as the standard model of planet formation. The model starts with a disk of gas and dust called a protoplanetary disk that surrounds a young star. The gas and dust in the disk clump together due to gravitational forces, eventually forming larger and larger objects. These objects, known as planetismals, continue to grow by colliding with each other until they reach sizes of around one kilometer or more. Once a planetismal reaches this size, its gravity becomes strong enough to attract and hold on to gas from the protoplanetary disk, rapidly increasing its mass and size. This process is called gas accretion, and it eventually leads to the formation of a gas giant planet like Jupiter. However, smaller, rocky planets like Earth are thought to have formed differently through a variation of the core accretion process. In this case, the planetismal continues to grow through collisions until it becomes large enough to have a strong enough gravity to attract gas. But instead of becoming a gas giant, it becomes a rocky planet with a small atmosphere. But if ROXS 42BB formed like a binary star, then it might as well be a brown dwarf. A binary star formation occurs when two protostellar clouds collapse together, forming two separate clumps of gas and dust. As the two clumps continue to collapse, they begin to orbit each other and become gravitationally bound. Over time, they continue to accrete gas and dust from their surroundings, increasing in mass and size. If one of the clumps becomes more massive than the other, it can become a star, while the less massive clump becomes a brown dwarf. This happens because the more massive clump is able to reach the temperature and pressure needed for nuclear fusion to occur in its core, while the less massive clump does not. Alternatively, both clumps could become brown dwarfs if they're approximately the same mass, and neither one has enough mass to start nuclear fusion reactions in its core. In this case, the two brown dwarfs will continue to orbit each other and form a binary system. ROXS 42BB is a very mysterious candidate because astronomers find it hard to explain how this object formed as Jupiter did due to its large size and mass. But the exoplanet is also not too massive to be a typical brown dwarf. This means that the exoplanet may represent a new class of planets, or it may just be a very rare and low-mass brown dwarf formed like other stars and brown dwarfs. 
Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.